Hey, we got a special treat for you today. The return of Elias. Elias is back. Welcome back, Elias. Hey, Tom. Thank you. How you been? I'm good. Happy to be back. All right, good. Yeah. I know you had a busy so uh, yes, season. Yes, yes. yes. Busy, busy season, season here. in Naples. Both of us. A yeah. lot of lessons, a lot of teaching. And here's two guys that are in the trenches. Okay, we're doing it out on the court. So it's not just digital lessons that we're doing. So we have a lot of experience yep. and we think we can help people. And we're interested in doing some doubles clinics this summer. So, you know, we're looking for like six people that want to come to Naples for three days, work hard all morning, and then just take the afternoon off, go to the beach, relax, and we'll see you the next day. But we can help you with your doubles and your technique as well. So um, email me at info at tomavery.com if you're interested. Okay, today's lesson. What are we talking about today? About the forehand inside out. Inside out yep. forehand. Okay. One of our subscribers <clears throat> said, hey, Tom, I'm having trouble with that inside out. I'm using... Uh, a semi-western grip or something like that and I'm thinking to myself that's what you want you want a semi-western grip you could use eastern which would still work but semi-western is what you want but we're gonna go into the fine points today so what do you think is key Elias as far as the inside out okay so the key is number one I would recommend you want to prepare early for the shot. Okay. So as soon as you see the ball coming, you decide you want to go for a forehand inside out. You want to prepare, move around the ball, and give yourself enough space between you and the ball. Because I see a lot of players, they try to go for the forehand inside out, but they end up being jammed. You can't the ball be jammed too, on. Too close to the body, and then the ball doesn't go enough forehand uh, inside out. So yeah, yeah. my key is really work on the early preparation yeah. and really work on giving yourself adequate space between space. you and the ball. Spacing is so important because you're swinging inside out and you need the ball out away from your body. If it's in too tight, you're not going to get it. Yeah. So what about the footwork? The key is you want to hear prepare early. I'm moving with my right foot, move it to the side. Going around the ball, and then I'm in a good, ready, loaded position to hit a good inside-out forehand, giving myself enough space, contacting the ball in front, a little bit to the right side of my body, and then using my body weight to shift forward into the shot, which helps you to get some good power on the forehand inside-out as well. Yeah, I really like that, what Elias was saying there. You know, that drop back is with that right foot. And then when you get here, you know, you're going to be swinging. This is, this is the inside position here. You're going out away from your body so you can direct the ball to that backhand corner. Now, I like to think, too, of the palm of the hand. Just let the palm of the hand go towards your target. Don't try and be too precise. That'll mess up your, your swing. You're, uh, you're not going to be able to hit the target when you're too precise because you tighten up too much. So just swing freely and let that palm go towards the target. So Elias is going to demo this shot for us. Here we go. Okay, notice in slow motion, Elias' right foot drops back behind the lead foot. Now, as he shuffles to the left, you're going to see the shoulders turn. The racket's coming back, and he's moving his feet quickly into posi position to get enough spacing. Okay, right here, you can see he's got good spacing from the ball. His hitting hand is in the inside position, and now he can swing out away from his body towards that backhand corner.
All right, as you can see for the forehand inside out, I'm working on preparing early for the shot. I get all the way around the ball and then push my weight forward into the head. But then also you want to work on coming back quickly back to the middle so you are ready for the next shot. And the forehand inside out gives you a great opportunity to really push your opponent out of the court, hit to their weaker side, which is often the backhand, and then open up the court where you can go for an aggressive inside-in shot, which can often be a winner or another offensive shot that's going to increase the potential of your opponent hitting an arrow. Okay, here in slow motion, Elias is going to go inside in. Shuffling to the left, getting the racket back, turning the shoulders. Now the racket is going to come more outside in, and the palm of the hand right now is facing right down the line. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. Inside out, it's a weapon. You gotta, you've gotta own that shot, right, Elias? Yeah, yeah, really use it. Very yeah. offensive shot. You're gonna hit to your opponent's backhand, which is oftentimes their weaker shot. Yeah. And it really allows you to open up the court. Yeah, yeah. All right, hey, listen, guys, we hope, remember, email me at info at, uh, info at tomavery.com if you're interested in some doubles clinics with Elias and me, okay? So all the best. Hey, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. To your tennis success.